Hello, TBN UK family. Welcome to Voice of Healing. It's your beloved brother, Jerry Malanda. I am a passionate lover of Jesus Christ. I believe that signs, wonders, and miracles are for today in the name of Jesus. We have now come to the end of series four, where we have explored together the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We have explored true worship, the seven Hebrew words of praise, obeying the word of God, and much more. After this episode, feel free to watch them at your own pace and take notes to further your own spiritual growth in Jesus. Now, today, we continue our succinct study on Christ Jesus being the Son of Righteousness. In the previous episode, we looked at Christ is the Son of Righteousness. Point two, having a healthy fear of the Lord. Point three, Christ is the source of everything. And point four, the Son of Righteousness heals. And point five, Christ is wielding you as his battle axe. Now, today we continue with point number six, the Son of has the same nature and power today. Like we said in the previous episode, the core of the sun is 15 million degrees Celsius. And the surface of the sun has a temperature of 5,499 degrees Celsius. 5,000 years ago, the sun still had the same power, the same energy, the same life it was giving to the planet Earth as it is today. The sun has not changed. Now, Malachi tells us in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, I am the Lord and I do not change. The sun has not changed, so God also has not changed. Now, there is still power in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is saving today like he saved yesterday. He's delivering today. And James tells us in James chapter 1, verse 7, every good gift, hallelujah, and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights. Even the Son gives us light. It comes from the Father of light with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Hallelujah. So in our head, we should picture a sundial, like the sundial of Ahaz in uh, Isaiah chapter 38, uh, verse 8. So when the sun is at its zenith, uh, it is very hot and it is not casting any shadow. So God is telling us there is no variableness with him. His nature does not change. His power does not change. If he healed yesterday, he's still healing today. If the sun gave life to planet Earth 5,000 years ago, it is still giving life today. And Jesus Christ is written in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 8, that Jesus Christ, our son of righteousness, is the same yesterday today and forevermore. He has not changed. His word also will never change. The book of Mark chapter 13, verse 31, the Bible says, heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word, hallelujah, will by no means pass away. Point number seven. We need to check our alignment with Christ Jesus, the son of righteousness. Now, the earth revolves anti-clockwise around the sun. So that's what the earth does. It revolves anti-clockwise around the earth. But it, is, it takes about 365 days, 6 hours, and 9 minutes to do so. But the earth also rotates on its own axis, as well. As we can see, it rotates also on its own uh, axis uh, in the name of Jesus. So it rotates at a speed of 1,000 miles per hour. Now, the reason why we have days and nights is because, uh, and also light and darkness, it is because uh, gradually, as the earth is turning on itself, on its axis, it is turning its, its back uh, to the sun. That's why we are in darkness. That's why there are days and nights. Also, 
The reason why some Christians are in darkness, there is no light in uh, the light. It's because they have turned the back uh, from Jesus, the son of righteousness. They decided to cast God's word, which is the light of the world, behind the back. Hosea told us in the book of Hosea chapter 11, verse 7, he says, My people are bent on backsliding. Uh, hallelujah. Or they are turning away from me. Just like when the earth turns away from the sun, it now is dark. It is night. But when it faces the sun, it is a day. So, though they call to me, the most high God, none of them actually is uh, exalting uh, me. That's what God said. And also in Psalm 50 verse 17, God says, uh, you hate my instructions, refuse my discipline, and cast my word behind you, and you treat my words like trash. The reason why lots of Christians are living in darkness because not just they cast God's word behind their back, but they treat it like trash. And how can they have a life and the light of the world? John chapter 8, verse 12 tells us, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. So if you turn your back from Jesus, you are going to be in darkness. Whosoever follows me and refuses to turn away, will never walk in darkness, hallelujah, but will have light of life. Point number eight. You need to go against the tide. If you want to remain in the light, you need to go against the tide. Now, it, people are going to say that, Brother Jerry, it is inevitable for darkness to overtake us because the world is in deep darkness. And uh, how can we go against uh, the world? How can we stop darkness of the world to overtake us? But Jesus told us in John chapter 17, verse 14 to verse 17, that we actually should go against the tide. He says, I have given my disciple my disciples, your word, and the world has hated my disciples because they are not of the world. We Christians, we are not of the world. Just as me, myself, Jesus, I am not of the world. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world. So we should remain here on earth to be the light of the world, but that they should keep, you should keep them farther from the evil one. They are not of the world, just like I am not of the world. So, Father, sanctify them or set them apart, make them different by your truth. And what is the truth? Your word found in this Bible is the truth. That's how we go against uh, the tide. Now, in John chapter 12, uh, verse uh, 35, the Bible says, uh, My light will shine for you. Walk in the light so that the darkness will not overtake you. If you choose to walk in accordance with God's word, darkness is never going to overtake you. And those who walk in darkness cannot see where they are going. So if you choose to walk according to this book, you are going to see clearly you are never going to be in darkness. Point number nine. Hallelujah. Take the wings of the morning. Now, you can either choose to take the wings of the morning and run into God's direction towards the sun. Or you can decide to take the wings of the morning and run away from God into darkness. We all have the choice. David told us in Psalm 139 verse 9, if I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea. So David decided also to take the wings of the morning. Now, the earth, like I told you, rotates anti-clockwise on its own axis at 1,000 miles per hour. Now, the cruise speed of the Concorde that uh, once upon a time, Great Britain we, and France, our partnership, we produced the Concorde plane. The speed, the cruise speed of Concorde is uh, 1,354 miles per hour, faster than the rotation of the Earth on its own axis. Now, 
Metaphorically, if we take the wings of the morning, hallelujah, of our spiritual concord plane, and we fly clockwise in the opposite direction, instead of going anti-clockwise with the whole planet Earth, we are actually flying clockwise in the name of Jesus. We are never going to be in darkness, and darkness will never be able to overtake us because we are flying faster than the rotation of the planet Earth. That's what the Concord used to do. And the Bible tells us it is possible to do it spiritually. How do we do that? Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29 to verse 31. Now, the Son of Righteousness gives us power to those who are weak. And to those who have no might, actually, he increases the strength. But those who wait upon the Lord, hallelujah, they shall renew the strength. And they shall mount up with wings like eagles. And they shall run, and they shall not be weary. And they shall walk, and they shall not faint. Hallelujah. Now. Some of you are going to say, Jerry, it is impossible to fly nonstop against the tide. Eventually, one day you are going to be tired and you are going to stop because you can't be flying forever. Darkness, once again, is going to overtake you. That is a lie from the devil. Today, for instance, we have a fighter jets. They are being refueled in the air. As they are flying, they don't have to stop. They can fly from the UK to Australia nonstop because they are being fueled in the air. You need to picture God as the mother eagle and you as the eaglet. Hallelujah. As you are flying and you are running out of speed, out of the fuel to continue this Christian journey, the mother eagle is going to come and refuel you in the name of Jesus and put you on its back and fly you as long as you want in Jesus' name. That's what God did for Israel, the whole nation, in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 11 and verse 12. Look at the mother eagle carrying the eaglet on its wing when the eaglet is uh, tired. The Bible says, as an eagle stirs up its nest, hovers over its young eaglet, spreading out its wings, hallelujah, taking them up, carrying them on its wings. So the Lord alone led him. And uh, there was no foreign God with them. God, as a mother eagle, came and took all its eaglets out of the captivity of uh, Egypt. And they came out of uh, that house of bondage. And today, you also can uh, fly against the tide. You also can take the wings of the morning. Instead of flying towards darkness, you can fly towards Christ Jesus, the son of righteousness. And darkness will never overtake you in the name of Jesus. You are going to be unique, peculiar. And God, the father, the mother eagle, will come and rescue you from all kinds of captivity in Jesus' precious name. So I want to pray for you so that you are now part of this family. So let us pray in Jesus' precious name. Heavenly Father, we want to give you all the glory. We want to give you all the praise because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Heaven and earth will pass away. Your word, on the other hand, will by no means pass away. And I want to thank you for your sons and your daughters under the sound of my voice that were tired but have decided to trust in you, to cry out to you like they cried out in the house of bondage of Egypt and you came as a mother eagle and you delivered all your eaglets in Jesus' name. Inside them there is an eaglet that wants to take its flight, its first flight in Jesus' name. And I pray right now that you forgive them of all the sins in Jesus' name. And you wash them in the blood of Jesus. Just like in the book of Exodus chapter 12, you applied the blood of Jesus on the doorpost and on the lintel. When the angel of death came, he saw the blood and passed over those houses in Jesus' precious name. And I pray right now, my King and my Savior, you forgive all the iniquities and you save them to the uttermost. In Jesus' precious name, amen. So if you have prayed that prayer and you meant it in your heart, welcome into the family of believers. And I want you to contact us and we are going to be able to help you in your Christian journey. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Now, I want to share a testimony with you. During our healing campaign in India early this year, one of the neighbors of the local church 
uh, was being tormented by a demon. A demon started to appear in his house, and it was in the form and the shape of a female demon. They, they were being tormented so much that uh, they were even willing to sell the house and relocate elsewhere. So, he went to see many magicians in Rajasthan and many Hindu gurus, but nobody could drive out that demon that was haunting the house. Then, one of the Hindu gurus told them, actually, the god of the Christian is more powerful than all the Hindu gods, all the Muslim gods, and all the other gods that they have. But if he can only go and see the God of the Christians, and he can also be delivered. So he decided to call the local pastor, and the pastor went there to pray for him. And as the pastor prayed, the demon also left his house in the name of Jesus. So he gave his life to Christ, and his whole family also was saved. Now, they came to our healing crusade because the man was blind in one eye, hallelujah, and the wife had a stroke, and she was paralyzed and could not move her right hand. So they were just newly born again. So they came forward, and I prayed for the husband, his eyesight was completely restored in the name of Jesus. And I called the wife forward as well. And I laid hands on her and I told her to move that frozen arm. She could move it properly in Jesus' name. And I went to the house again and I prayed and drove out all those demons in Jesus' precious name. And what Jesus did back then, he wants to do for you as well in Jesus' name. Now, the word of knowledge that God gave me right now also you are being tormented by Satan. And I want you to know that there is nothing new under the sun. Demonic oppression has been happening to people for a long, long time. But Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I see in your house right now, I see in your house, and I see the cause of your demonic oppression you have idols in your house. You have idols in your house. If you remove those idols from your house, then that demonic oppression is going to cease. Just collect those idols and throw them into the trash in Jesus' name. And let me pray for you. Father, we want to give you all the glory. We want to give you all the praise because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I see those idols are not in your living room. They are in your bedroom. So go take them from your bedroom. It is under your bed. Go take them from your bedroom, under your bed, and throw them into the bin in Jesus' name. So now let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. Demonic oppression is nothing new. It has existed since the days of Jesus, even before the days of Jesus. But there is a name that is above every other name. Just like the Hindu guru testified that the God of the Christian has more power, hallelujah, to heal, to deliver. That Christ Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, is a consuming fire. At the mention of Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, every knee bow and every demon trembles and is scattered in Jesus' name. So I command right now that demonic oppression to leave the house immediately. Satan, I adjure you in the name of Jesus and I command you Pack your loads, leave at once in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Now, I want to pray for you as well in the name of Jesus. I want you to lay your hand on your body. As we've been studying through this study that uh, Malachi chapter 4, verse 2, that Christ Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, rises with healing under his wings. And he's going to arise today for you as well and bring healing, beam radiation of healing in your house to heal all manners of sickness and all manners of disease. He's going to remove darkness and give you light in your house in Jesus' name. So lay your hands on the part of your body that is being afflicted in the name of Jesus. And I am going to pray for you. And Christ is going to show himself mighty on your behalf. Father, thank you because you have heard my prayer. And I know that you always hear me. Christ Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. There is no shadows of turning with Christ Jesus. There is no shadows of turning whatsoever. He's the same yesterday, today. Just like the sun is still hot. Uh, 5,000 years ago, it was as hot as it is today. 
Christ also has not changed in power. There's no shadows of turning in him. He always heals. Yesterday he healed, today he heals as well, and forever he's going to be the healer in Jesus' name. So I curse every sickness under the sound of my voice. I curse every disease under the sound of my voice, and I command every sickness under the sound of my voice to be healed in Jesus' name. And I command you, Satan, and every kind of demonic oppression, be gone at once in Jesus' name. I command you to pack your loads and leave at once in Jesus' precious name. From the crown of the heads of the people to the tips of the toes, I command perfect wholeness and I command perfect soundness. Jesus, be glorified. Be glorified through the healing and the testimonies of the people for your glory in Jesus' name. Now, the Bible says in Luke chapter 8, Verse 11, that the word of God is the seed. Hallelujah. Whatever need you have, the word of God is the seed for your need. Now, I want you to believe with me and place your hand on the part of your body that is being afflicted. And I'm going to pray. And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Let me pray for you and believe that you are going to receive now your healing Father, we bless you. We honor you because uh, Jesus Christ has not changed. The sun is still hot. Hallelujah. The core is still 15 million degrees Celsius. And as it was 5,000 years ago, it is the same temperature today. And Christ Jesus is still full of power in the name of Jesus. You have given us the power to trample upon serpents, upon scorpions, and to destroy all the works of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt your children. So I curse every sickness. I curse every disease. Whatever is the need of your sons and of your daughter, in you, Christ Jesus, the Son of Righteousness, everything consists. So I command the creation of the heart desires right now in Jesus' name. And I speak blessing over them because whomsoever you bless is blessed indeed. So be blessed in in your family, be blessed. In your home, be blessed. In your finances, be blessed. In every affairs of yours, be blessed in Jesus' precious name. Because whomsoever I bless is blessed indeed in Jesus' name. So be blessed in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' precious name. Amen. So, Please contact us, send us your testimonies and your prayer requests. We want to hear from you what God has been doing and what you want God to do for you as well in Jesus' name. So we have come to the end of the series. I know it has been such a powerful time that we have shared together over these last 24 weeks, seeking God's face, praying and learning more from his word, which is alive and ever relevant today. I want to thank you for messaging my team and even TBN UK of the testimonies, prayer requests, and how much God has used me to bless you. Please, always remember, in addition to what you have heard today, seek medical advice from your physician concerning all your illnesses. I will see you soon. But for now, remember that I love you and your Abba Father loves you as well unconditionally. God bless you in Jesus' precious name. Amen.